Uh, we call it 705 and A Street. Beneath the highway heading into the heart of Tacoma, you'll find a community of about 50. And while it's not pretty here, nearby business owners say you should have seen it this spring. Folks were using their property, defecating on their property, um, using their trash cans, filling their trash cans to over capacity. Allison Griffith says there's not shelter space for these folks yet. So in the meantime, the city brought in porta potties, a hand washing station, and hired regular trash pickup crews to make the place cleaner, healthier, and less of an eyesore. It's all paid for by the state's Department of Transportation, the owners of this property. When the pandemic arrived, of course, you know, the city had to take budget reductions and part of that was reductions to our homeless services area. So without the contributions of WashDOT, um, you know, it would be, it would certainly be something that would impact our budget. This is the approach that, that works. John Winans with DOT says the state wants sites like this cleared, but unless there's an imminent safety risk, which the state deemed was the case in Seattle, properly clearing sites takes time time for local agencies to provide services and eventually get the residents into either permanent housing or shelters. They handle the outreach and the housing. Um, we can come in and we can do our part, which is clean up vacant right of way. We're working to expand our shelter uh, availability. Uh, we're developing a micro shelter site at South 69th and Proctor. The city is clearing this vacant lot to house 70, including those currently living under I-705 as soon as September. The city and state say playing the slow game is a more compassionate approach and one that works better than a quick sweep. As we clear folks out, if they aren't willing to accept shelter or if there isn't available shelter capacity, they are just going to go to another location, which may be directly across the street, frankly. I spoke with a Tacoma business owner who, who works in that area and she complained about the mess in the spring. She says this summer it's gotten much better. She's hoping it's all cleaned up and cleared out by the fall, and that's what DOT hopes as well. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.